Good morning. My name is Holly Mowry, and it is my great honor and privilege to work at Gulf Coast Community Foundation under the leadership of John Baxton. On behalf of Gulf Coast and our partners at Sarasota County UF IFAS Extension and their organizing partners, I would like to welcome you to this year's Sustainable Communities Workshop. Gulf Coast is delighted to sponsor the Sustainable Communities Workshop because we are passionate about the environment and we believe in the power of partnership. This year's theme, The Roots of Sustainability, highlights how all of us, nonprofits and businesses, government and private citizens, young and old, can come together to help us solve our most challenging sustainability issues. The last year and a half has highlighted the importance of our natural environment as people looked to nature for adventure, entertainment, and solace. Gulf Coast is proud to have been a leader in protecting our natural environment so that everyone has access to what nature has to offer. We have partnered with the incredible staff of the city and county of Sarasota, Charles and Marjorie Baranzik Foundation, Community Foundation of Sarasota County, and the William G. and Marie Selby Foundation to form Partners for Green Places, an initiative that offers energy roadmaps and upgrades to local nonprofits to help them lower their energy usage while educating other area nonprofits and businesses on how they can do the same. This partnership also birthed the Solar Loan Fund, giving nonprofits the opportunity to install solar photovoltaic systems, further lowering their environmental footprint. With the help of myriad partners, including the county, the city, and too many others to mention here, we also launched a water quality playbook, which outlines ways that the entire community can come together and form partnerships to manage nutrient pollution and protect our vital waterways. From wastewater management to home fertilizer use, the playbook has something for everyone. We are very proud of the work we've done to protect our environment, but we didn't do any of it alone. Partnerships have made it possible. The idea of partnership is not new and it's not exclusive to people. Even trees have an underground wood wide web through which they share resources and information, literal roots of sustainability. And if the trees can do it, so can we. Thank you for being here today and enjoy the workshop. with Transition Sarasota. Big thanks to Honeyside Farms for letting us come out and glean their field. So we're harvesting excess produce that they weren't able to take to the farmer's market since they're all closed right now. This produce will be donated to All Face Food Bank. We were overwhelmed by the number of volunteers that signed out to come out and help us in the farms today. We had over 20 volunteers come out to help harvest produce for the food bank. We glean because people need food and food shouldn't be wasted. In research done on the Sarasota County landfill, 20% of the landfill mass is organic matter. So a lot of that is food or um, yard scraps that would be much better off being put to good use or being composted. <laughs> the possible give to them we gave it do you think we did a good job today oh awesome <laughs> <laughs> there should be new opportunities to harvest in the future so stay tuned
in the future, it would be nice if we would have more green space for animals and people. We can all, you know, take a hand and we can plant trees, we can do our own gardens, and we can just do what we can to kind of give back to the environment that we're taking away from. When we were going through the gardens, I thought how it would be really cool if I grew this at my school or at home because the vegetables and the fruits were so much more delicious than just from the stores. In 2015, our gardens produced more than 800 pounds of food donated to All Faiths Food Bank, showcasing the potential for urban agriculture in our area. Our objective is to expose the community to the interdependence of the environment, our build systems, economy, and social institutions. This allows us to design the future of our community and shape the opportunities for the generations to follow. The world needs more happy places. Places full of comfort and warmth, where you feel good and breathe easy. Places you can count on to withstand the storms and be there when you need them. With every air quality and energy efficiency assessment, plumbing repair, solar panel, and trade worker training, South Face is making happy places like those a reality. You can too. Together, we will achieve climate mitigation and resilience at the intersection of the built and natural environments. We will increase health and equity through improvements to the built environment. And we will build the nation's knowledge base and workforce to catalyze the transition to a regenerative economy. Text South Face to 44321 to donate today. Look over the horizon. Disrupt the status quo. Double down on long-term investments. I'm Devaney Iglesias, and this is how FPL went from being an electric utility to a tech leader that delivers power. In 2001, FPL burned 41 million barrels of oil. We knew we had to do better. So we tore down our old oil burning plants and decided to put the sun back into the sunshine state. In 2009, we built our first solar energy center. In 2016, we opened three more. And before you knew it, we were harvesting the sun all over the state of Florida. But our clean energy initiatives go beyond solar energy centers, to solar trees, to EV chargers, to the world's largest solar powered battery right here in Southwest Florida, we're even exploring green hydrogen, which could potentially unlock an 100% emissions-free energy future. Because that's what tech leaders do. They look to the future to make life better for those they serve. FPL's come a long way, and we've never been more excited about the future. Hello, I'm Bob Bunting. I'm the CEO of Sarasota's Climate Adaptation Center. We're the only organization in Florida that's dedicated solely to looking at how climate will impact our lives here in Southwest Florida. Please join us on November the 19th at the University of South Florida's Selby Auditorium for the first ever climate weather forecast. You may buy tickets online for in-person or virtual at the climateadaptationcenter.org. CHNEP operates in the place where science and outreach come together. 
we're guided by our five-year strategic plan, which is called our Comprehensive Conservation and Management Plan, or CCMP. And there's four priority action areas we work on, which is water quality improvement, hydrological restoration, fish, wildlife, and habitat protection, and public engagement. 